You know, I hate to go down, I hate to go down this lonesome road. Hate to go down this lonesome road by myself. Yes, I hate to go down this lonesome road. Hate to go down this road by myself. Yes, I guess I might have well to make it. Old lightning don't have nobody else. traveling till I find me some place to go I'm gonna keep on traveling till I find me some place to go you know it's lonesome when you're traveling down this road by yourself This is really a, a beautiful uh, film. Uh, it, behind, uh, you can still hear him playing behind the guys playing uh, dominoes and things uh, in, in this film. So, so listen carefully to what he's doing. And uh, what I suggest right now that you've listened to it 50 or 60 times is go back one more time and just watch his right thumb. Just listen to Lightning playing the bass on this film. And what you'll hear is, uh, what you'll see is that throughout the whole song, he's keeping this strong shuffle beat on the thumb. You know, a few times he breaks out of it and, and just plays uh, along, with the, uh, along with the melody, real fast melody notes. And a few times he just stops. But for the most part, he's driving this song with the shuffle beat uh, on, on his, with his right thumb. And that's just this. Same as same thing. This is the this is the 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 the, the, the backbone of uh, Texas blues when he gets into that shuffle kind of thing, and uh, uh, he he's a master at it. He's a master at at the perfect timing for these runs, uh, uh, playing along with the shuffle beat. It just the whole thing is a perfect package that works together. A couple of things to keep in mind. Number one, he's not tuned to pitch. He's tuned somewhere else. Uh, it's not a bad idea just to tune up or down. I think he's tuned up a little bit. I can't remember on this song. And it's not a bad idea to try to tune to him and, and to play along and try to get that shuffle beat going. Uh, as I said before, he doesn't do everything the same way every time. And uh, I, I need to say also that Lightning, much of the time, uh, particularly later on, I think more so, was not concerned with keeping changes perfectly regular 12 bar. The famous uh, uh, statement of Lightning's, and when somebody was playing, somebody famous was playing along with Lightning, uh, said, you know, are you going to follow the changes? Lightning just looked at him, said, Lightning changes when Lightning wants to change. And that's just all there is to it. There is a kind of a pattern to what he does, a feeling to what he does, maybe not necessarily 12 bars, but it's, 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 a, it's a thing that he does. And, uh, but he's completely free about that. And, and once you kind of let that 12 bar thing go and you listen to what he's doing, the spontaneity, the uh, improvising that he's doing, just uh, it all, it's, it's just all perfect. It, it doesn't have to change on, uh, 
you know, 12 bars and s still be perfect. It's perfect. I mean, those runs, the rhythm of it, the, the timing of it, just, it's, it's, it just, he, he never goes wrong on it. It's just kind of a natural thing to him, and it, it's, it's quite amazing. So let's just get into teaching this song. I'm not going to sing it for you. I don't think anybody can. Uh, uh, let me say this. People can. I can't. Uh, it's very, very, uh, he's just such a great singer uh, that, uh, you know, I, I, <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to do this one. So uh, let me, but I can show you how he's playing it and what he's doing behind the, 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 the singing and uh, uh, how he's doing his breaks. So he starts out, he's in the key of E this time. And remember, he's keeping this, this shuffle bass going. And what he does is he starts out, he, he starts out with, a, with a famous lightning move where he takes a C chord, just like this, a, a regular C chord. Uh, the only thing that he's adding is his little finger onto the, the fifth of the chord, which is a G note, which in this case is the third fret of the first string. So he's just taking this chord, and if you take this, this C chord and you move it up a fret, it's a C sharp, one more fret, it's a D, one more fret, it's a D sharp or an E flat, one more fret, E chord. This is a chord Lightning uses all the time. He's got his little finger there on the, this in variations of this chord. He uses it all the time. And the cool thing is he's got these two E basses. So when he wants to shuffle that, he can sort of overlap his right thumb onto those basses. And this is the way he's playing that chord as far as I can, as I can tell. And what he's doing is and one and two da 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 a shuffle a shuffle rhythm. Here's the thumb. And how he does that, he pinches it. Two pinches together, bass and treble. And then uh, a second string note by itself. Get that into your bones, that, that, just that lick. Slide it up. So it's one, two, three, one, two. Same thing here. He slides up from this, from this uh, C form E, and if you know the cage system, you know the form after C form. This is C form E. You know the form after the C form is the A form. E, C form, A form. So he just slides up to the top two notes of that uh, A form E, which is first finger on the seventh fret of the first string and third finger on the ninth fret of the second string. So he slides up from the C form C. on this triplet. This whole song runs through triplets. That's the secret of the song as far as I can tell. C form, A form, slides, comes back down here on the, uh, down to the E chord. Doesn't even bother playing the chord, just second fret of the uh, second string, the E6. What a beautiful sound. This run, same thing with the bass, same triplets. Da, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So, so how he does it, he pinches it on the third fret, then he pinches it off. And then he hits it by itself. Now sometimes Lightning will break out of that and he'll just play the same bass as he's playing. He does that a lot. So he's just playing the same, the bass and the treble together, da 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 da, by them together. So it, it's sometimes it's just the shuffle. Sometimes he's playing the same note. Okay. Uh, whether you break out of that go into the what what the treble's playing you're not going to lose that shuffle that shuffle feel of it too I don't think so don't be too uh, strict about it but 
try to get, try to work on that, try to find ways to work on moving that, that thumb on a shuffle deal. And then, when I was talking in A, remember, about the 5-7 run, where the 5th is here and the 7th here, out of A, in E, in E, same run, but in the key of E, here's the 5th, the B note, the 4th uh, fret of your 3rd string, and the 7th, the D note in the key of E, the 7th, 3rd fret of the 2nd string, so these two notes. Sometimes he plays it with the first string open. Sometimes he plays it with the first string on the fourth fret, so you have a, just a D7 form E chord. Here's your D7, D sharp 7, E7. So what this uh, E7 uh, shuffle run is, he's just playing this D7 form E7 with the first string open. Here's your E7 out of a D7 form, first string open. got a million variations of playing this. Sometimes he just plays it. Sometimes he... Sometimes... Excuse me. So there's there are really millions of ways of playing this and, and Lightning knows every one of them. And he's making them up on the spot or Maybe not, he's played them a million times. So, uh, he's doing the same, keeping his bass going. Drags his thumb in onto the B note on the bass, and then down to this sort of uh, making the presence of a B7 chord sound. So that whole first intro, That's the, the instrumental int in, uh, intro that he plays, and it's really classic lightning. It's beautiful. He's, he's just driving it with that shuffle bass. It, it, it just, it's heaven for guitar players. That moment in guitar playing, you can just live there forever. Learn that, and uh, you're going to be, you're saved. You, you don't have to worry about going straight to hell playing blues. If you learn that run, you're going to be able to talk your way through the gates, trust me. Just make sure you got your guitar with you. So, he sings, uh, Well, I hate to go down. Keeps his shuffle bass going. Or plays a little run on the, on the one and the three of the first string. He, uh, did I mention, yeah, did I mention the... Uh, let me do this one more time, the whole thing. Got lost. Then hits hits that B note for the B7 chord, goes back down to the E. Then he sings, uh, I hate to go down this lonesome road. I hate to go down this lonesome road. And he's keeping the shuffle going, plays a little run. And then he moves on to the next chord, the A chord, and he jumps into it. And this is a, a little specific A lick that he plays all the time, and it's pure lightning. So he, he walks into it by going... Walks up to this A chord, hitting the open D, D string, first fret, second fret, into this A chord, then the bass. So it's... This is the run. You gotta kinda learn this. There's something special about it. There's something just really satisfying about hearing that run. He walks up, hits a bass, hits this treble third fret uh, first string on the seventh. Then he hits this fourth string bass. And then he 
after hitting that four string bass, he, he does that, that little Texas jump by going from the uh, fifth string to the fourth strings this time instead of from as we did in E uh, in the E chord. So, so he just jumps up there again. And so he's got this little sequence of notes that fit perfectly into how this shuffle is working. Let's do this just one more time. Walks up, hits the bass, hits the treble, then high bass, then walks, and then kind of jumps, drags his thumb. Goes down a low bass, pinches it, and then hits the treble. And then he hits the high, the middle E, and the low E. Sometimes he uses his thumb, sometimes he uses his finger. Back down here. He still has this bass uh, uh, shuffling, shuffles into the D, into the uh, B7 chord. Same, same, same right hand. Same thing on the A. And then the So that's basically what he does behind the singing on the verse. He's just kind of keeping that, that shuffle bass going and in the middle or one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, up to the A. Shuffle bass on the on, on the B7 chord. However you want to play it. A chord, seventh run. Okay, so there we have the first guitar break starting out the song, what he's playing beneath the verse. The second guitar break, he does the same thing, he comes up here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Um, uh, what he specifically does after that <laughs> kind of plays a run that kind of plays around with these these two notes. It sounds like this. Third fret open, second fret open, and then third fret again, open, goes right into the A. break he as I was saying before he doesn't worry about 12 bars he doesn't even go into the into the last four bars he just plays his E run and then goes into the final uh, sort of signal that that verse is over goes back sings a second verse and uh, does basically the same thing behind his vocals as he's singing the second verse and uh, goes into one more uh, amazing and astounding uh, guitar break. After the second verse, he immediately walks up the neck by hitting the first string open, I think, going up to this eighth fret. And what he's doing, he's walking up to this A minor position of E. Here's his E note. It's a very important E note for Leighton and Hopkins. It's on the ninth fret of the third string. E note there, E note on the seventh fret of the fifth string, we already saw that note. 
there's a pentatonic run that, that connects those two E notes. And uh, so this gets him into that, that A minor uh, form of an E minor chord here. And so he, what he's doing is he's just using this part of it. And he's always referring down to this E note. And in this case, what he does is he goes, instead of this E note, he hits the same, same as this E note is the same note as the high as the high E string open. Goes to the minor third on the eighth fret of the second string, and then to the uh, four, the A note, on the uh, tenth fret of the second string, and chokes that up all the way up to this B note. And as he's choking that, he's, he's, he's usually tuned lower and he's probably got pretty light strings on. As he's choking that, he's using his thumb, I believe, and he's hitting the first string at the same time, so he gets this screaming sound. And he comes back down. And then we recognize this run from, from uh, a Comeback Baby. It's the same run. He's coming out of the E minor, the, the A minor form. It's an E minor chord, A minor chord. This time he hits this twice. He goes down and immediately up to that seventh. Slides down. Okay. So it's and, and he's playing these runs so beautifully and sweet and fast that they're just they just start to sing. And if you do it enough time and your strings are a little bit maybe a little bit lighter than this, it's just he does it with ease and he chokes it up the note. And and to make it a little easier to choke all the way up, what I do is I've got all three fingers on that on this, uh, if, you, if you look at my hand, I've got all three fingers of my left hand on that second string so that when I choke it up, I'm using, I don't have any problem kind of get under that string. I don't have any problem uh, having enough power to be able to kind of like that, you know. Slides down, same, you know, your A minor run slides down. Uh, so when he slides, just uh, kind of goes down for the from the second string open to the A note. Plays this, walks around a little bit. A E. Punctuates it with a with a with a sort of B7 sounding chord at the end, and um, sings one last verse of this of this song. And uh, as I recall, and uh, or maybe uh, excuse me, that's just the ending of the song. No, it comes in and sings one last verse, and. Uh, <laughs> At the end of the song, when he is playing the E7 uh, Lightning Hopkins patented run, he takes that run, walks it down, and then ends it on the seventh. So sometimes when he walks it down, he drags his first finger over these three strings. Some of there are the secrets and the, the little ins and outs of uh, how Lightning plays uh, Lonesome Road Blues. We're going to go to the split screens now, right now and go through some of these uh, licks and breaks as best I can for you. i 
hate to go down On that lonesome road by myself Well, I hate to go down I might as well just go ahead on when I don't have nobody else. Lonesome, it's so lonesome And he's traveling by himself Well, it's lonesome, it's so lonesome And he's traveling by himself Well, he might as well just go ahead on don't have nobody else. Down this road by himself. 